Hello everyone and welcome back to another Copperfield specific real estate market update. This time we will talk about all of the stats and what was happening in a community in the month of June. So let's dive straight in. You have probably read the news and the headlines talking that market have shifted. And I'll dive deeper into all stats and give you some more context to the current market trends. But before we start, please click the subscribe button below and the notification bell so you don't miss any of these great videos that I'm creating just for you. By the way, I'm Juros Markovic, I'm a local realtor, I live in Copperfield, so I really get it and see what is happening there every single day. 70 new listings came to market versus 66 last month and we welcomed 54 new neighbors versus 64 in May. It means that sold to new list ratio is 77%. It is down from 100% we had last month. But should you be worried? Well, absolutely not. This happened every single year and 77% sell through rate is incredible. 100% is just unbelievable. But 77% is still pretty, pretty good. In fact, this was the highest selling June on record for the community. So there is really nothing for you guys to concern yourself about. Overall, on comparison to the last year, sales were up 29%. Listings were up 11 and total inventory was down for 22. Months of supply was 1.15, which is a slightly increase over the last month, but it is still very comfortably in a seller's market territory. Looking at the monthly sales comparison graph, you will see how this June compares to the last 10 years. Like I said earlier, this June is the best June of all times. But like I said, the market has shifted, it has changed a little bit. And not all property types and price points have the same demand. So let's unpack that. As usual, I will start the review with the detached homes, go over semi-detached duplexes. We will talk about row houses and then apartments at the end. So detached home sales is down for 9% from the last year. New listings were down for 6% to the last year and sold to new list ratio is down to 67%. Well, that means that 67% of all new listings did sell in June. So you probably wonder if that is a really good number or not, because I know there were some better numbers over the last uh, several months, but that is still very good pace of sale. It is a slightly slower than first five months of this year, but as equally good as the last June. To remind you, Junes are usually not busy months for Copperfield sales. Total inventory is down for 19%. Months of supply are only 1.24 months, which is very important to note. So it is very well into the seller's market. All right, so here is the breakdown on sales as per the price points. Between 400 and 500K, there were five transactions. Between five and six range, there were nine. Followed by six, between six and 700K. There were no transactions done in the price points over 700 back in June. We have noticed the shift towards between 5 and 600k range. Benchmark price was 567,500 or 25.2% higher than the last June and almost $5,000 gain month over month. So basically what that really means? Well, it means that there is still a lot of demand for housing in Copperfield. It just means that people have shifted towards more affordable price points. However, the market and the home values haven't gone down despite of the slowdown. For duplexes, two properties were sold, one was listed. Look, duplex market, semi-detached market, however you like to call it, is always very busy market segments. There is not much inventory in our community and basically whatever gets listed gets sold. That house market or row market has been, again, one of the fastest moving markets in the community. 90% more listings sold. 133% new listings resulted in 5% more inventory comparing to the last June. The sellers are getting basically what they're asking for, 100% of the listing price. The large influx of new listings resulted in a slight decline in the benchmark price from 356,600 to 354,900. However, it is still 21.6% higher 
than the last June. Apartment sales remain also very high. 50% more transactions were recorded, 17% fewer new listings came to market. These strong sales numbers and decline in the new listings pushed the inventory further down to 41% lower than June 2021. The benchmark price was 268,500 or 17% higher than the last year. So let me help you make some sense of all of it. You can see that market has shifted a little bit, mostly in over 700K detached home segments where home buyers for whatever reason got pushed more towards 600K range. Buyers, I hope to give you a little bit more insights over here and depending on what you're looking for, you might have some more breathing room if you are looking in that over 700k mark. Everything below that and all other property types are still very fast paced. Keep in touch with your mortgage professionals too. Stay in tune with the interest rate changes. Your approval for one or two months ago might not be as accurate anymore, so get them updated. Sellers, well, similar message to you. If you're selling detached home in over 700k range, you will need to be a little bit more patient. Price it hasn't changed much, but it will take a little bit more time to sell. If you're selling below 700k home, be strategic, prepare your house for sale properly, do a little bit of work, make sure that the buyers get emotionally attached to your home, get it changed, get it really looked like a show home. Duplex market is very fast moving market too, but don't make a mistake over there as well. Price it accordingly. Same with the row and apartments, very fast moving. There are some differences among property styles and sizes like two bedroom row houses are maybe not as popular as three bedrooms. Also one bedroom apartment versus two bedrooms and two bathrooms. And there are still some variables there. So, and as always, if you have any questions about all of this, just let me know. I'm really here to help you out. Thank you and have a great July.